you flashy guitar tricks that are actually not as hard as they look. And we're gonna start with first examining the ax in my hand because I came up with this video only because of this really flashy and awesome sounding guitar. This is called the Diablo Progressive X and it is a master built custom shop guitar from my buddies over at Framus. Check out the link down in the description if you'd like to check out the specs. This guitar rocks and we are about to rock. So prepare yourself. You don't necessarily need a Floyd Rose for all of these tricks. There is one where you will need some sort of whammy bar system, but I'm going to try and accommodate those of you who may not have any sort of floating bridge system for that trick when we get to it. But first, let's talk about the first flashy yet pretty simple trick to maneuver, and that is the open string hammer-ons. And this is primarily going to work in keys that take advantage of open strings, which also happen to be a guitar player's favorite key, E minor, A minor, keys like that where you have access to a lot of these open <laughs> strings. So for example, here is a very flashy looking thing that is actually quite simple. <laughs> Now that is straight out of the E minor pentatonic scale, and this is the third position of that scale. A very popular position among blues rockers and metalheads alike, and this is simply taking advantage of the top three, or bottom three, however you want to look at it, uh, strings, along with five, seven of the E, A, and D strings. And instead of just going with a simple rhythm like that, I figured I would mix it up and do this sort of alternating hammer on. That is definitely something you can try. If you want to keep it a little simpler, you can come up here to the fifth position of the E minor pentatonic scale. And just simply work with hammer-ons. And actually a really cool riff, I'm sure a lot of other guitar players have come up with it on their own. I don't know if it's featured in any sort of song anywhere, but this has always been something that I played, especially with a wah pedal. It's just a hammer on 10 to 12 on the E and A strings, really, really super fast. It just sounds so awesome, check it out. So there you go, your first flashy trip would be hammer-ons in the keys of E minor or A minor. Like I said, both of those take advantage of open strings. And now moving on to the next flashy trick, it's the inverse of what we just went over, which are open string pull-offs. And an example of that would be something like this. <laughs> Obviously we know who that reminds us of, Mr. Joe Satriani. But you don't have to do it in a Lydian vibe, you can also do it in more of a harmonic minor sound. Obviously this one has to, a lot to do with understanding scales, and this is actually how I recommend learning scales, is just to have some sort of droning note. So if we want to do E Dorian, we could figure it out on this bottom string. Then we wanted to learn E Aeolian. So 
So those two modes of the major scale are only different by one note. So using a droning sound to learn scales is a great way to train your ear and your muscle memory for these flashy pull-offs. And really it's as simple as pulling down uh, I find that it's most effective to have some sort of muting mechanism happening. Obviously, if you're not muting and you're trying to do this pull-off stuff on the B string, you can have a lot of other string noises. A lot of muting happens in the right hand, so you just have this nice... There we go. Now, moving on to another flashy little trick. I call this one the whammy flourish, and this is kind of a Steve Vai inspired thing where you use a combination of pull-offs and the whammy bar to create this very seamless, fluid sounding run. Something like this. So without the whammy bar it would be like this. So it has a lot to do with finger strength and pull-offs in the left hand, but the whammy bar just kind of spurs it on. It's really a cool thing. Again, this is sort of back to the mindset of having some really nice, easy guitar keys like E minor, but you can do it, say, let's take A flat, for example. So it can work anywhere. But the point is I like to use those, again, those nice, easy, easily accessible notes in the third position of the pentatonic scale. It works the best ergonomically that way, but as you can see there, I was moving in different positions of the scale and executing this flashy yet pretty simple technique. It's just a matter of finger strength more than anything else. And if you don't have a whammy bar, I mentioned I would cater to those of you who may not have a Floyd Rose, you can simply pretend you have one. And to do that, I would just say, move your finger in place of the whammy bar, your fretting finger that is. So instead of something like this, you could do something like this. Moving forward, another flashy little trick that isn't necessarily that difficult, it's just a matter of timing. Oddly placed pinch harmonics. So you've heard maybe not even on purpose, I've been pulling in some pinch harmonics to kind of tie a bow on some of these phrases that I'm playing, and that's sort of built into my playing at this point, but I think it really is an interesting concept. Instead of kind of being on the beat with your pinch harmonics and being very deliberate with where you place them, I find that it's also effective to put them in places that sort of allow them to bloom out of your guitar and sort of take the listener by surprise, if you will. So this would be sort of a deliberate sounding pinch harmonic. That would be sort of expected and not necessarily surprising. It's still flashy, don't get me wrong, pinch harmonics are flashy in general, but what I think is even more of a flashy and cool way to use them is by putting them not necessarily right on the beat, but sliding into them, and I also find that it's easier to activate them when you have these sort of aggressive phrases happening. They act really well as an exclamation or some sort of punctuation on your musical phrase, something like this. <laughs> And 
now to close out a similar sounding technique, but a little bit different on the execution side of things. I call them mystical harmonics. Sounds like this. Let me show you that again. So what's going on here is a simple hammer on, but I am dragging my pinky in this case across the string very lightly to activate this harmonic. So I'll try and do this slowly and you can see. And it can work on any string. I tend to find the thicker strings are the most uh, exuding of harmonics in the mystical nature. So I would tend to stick to the E, A, and D strings if you want to try this. And it works particularly well on the thickest string, the E string. <laughs> And if you wanted to put this into context of some sort. That's gonna do it. I hope this was a cool, fun lesson for you guys if you've been trying to add some flashy tricks into your tool belt that aren't necessarily gonna take you 10 hours to learn. Well, there are a handful of them for you. Thanks a lot to Framus for letting me use this awesome Diablo Progressive X custom-built guitar. Check out the link in the description if you're interested in learning more about this thing. And until next time, keep shredding. <laughs>